Project Vortex stands for the verification of the origins of rotation in Tornado's experiment. The first Vortex project set out in the mid-90s with a fleet of up to 20 research vehicles and one mobile Doppler radar. Now at the time, Vortex 1 was the largest tornado field experiment of its kind, and its goal was to help explain why only certain supercells produce tornadoes. Don Burgess has been researching and studying storms for more than 40 years. He's part of the Vortex 2 steering committee and says that Vortex 1's data produced even more questions for scientists to answer. We learned some things. We learned the rear flank downdraft is more complicated. We learned there's more than one way to spin up tornadoes from a rotating mesocyclone. But we're not sure how often each of the possible mechanisms are the right thing. Vortex 2 was created to hopefully answer those questions. It's a two-year project. However, the research will only be conducted from May 10th till June 10th. Storms in late May and June are generally slower and easier to chase. The scientists will roam from eastern Colorado through Texas into Oklahoma, South Dakota and Nebraska in a small amount of time. Every day the team will be mobile, going where the storms are forecasted. But coordinating such a large project poses a lot of logistical issues. It's a difficult thing to do, and there is a sense of danger you throw these vehicles around a storm, and to get them all in the right place. So we're working through all of those issues. Vortex 2 will rely heavily on a team of forecasting support from the Storm Prediction Center and the Center for Analysis and Prediction of Storms. Both are located in the National Weather Center building in Norman, Oklahoma. But in storm chasing, you have to make a decision whether to go north, south, east, or west. We'll have some of the best inputs possible, but occasionally we'll have to flip a coin to decide whether to go west or north, and it'll make the difference whether we get a data set that day or not. And that's why Vortex 2 will be in the field for close to five weeks and conduct data over two years, because some severe weather seasons are better than others. Having already completed a large project like Vortex 1, the real optimism that surrounds this project is the increased number of weather instruments. Think of this project as a battle against the storm. Up to 30 vehicles getting data from the ground. Unmanned remote controlled aircraft that will try to fly under the storm near the tornado. And the most important upgrade, more radar technology in the field. And we will have all of these portable radars. We had one last time. We'll have as many as 12 this time. So we can sit around the storm with different scales and different kinds of observations. and We can learn an awful lot from radar. Now after the data is gathered, it will take several years to model and interpret the results. Today, 7 out of 10 tornado warnings are false alarms. New tornado data from Vortex 2 will hopefully impact the way warnings are issued to the public. Pay off in terms of better warnings, if we can understand tornado genesis. Perhaps longer lead time, but more accurate warnings fewer false alarms, and then better understanding the low-level wind speed in tornadoes.